What is going on guys, DBG, and today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K24. Why are we on the NBA 2K Intel page? Because that's honestly the best place to aggregate everything we've seen. So obviously, uh, this cover came out. These covers were released earlier, as you can see, this was 12, this was, it was 3 hours before 2K tweeted it. So these are the covers for the new game. Obviously, we're going to get some version of Kobe Bryant as a uh, day one card. It is what it is. Pre-order um, reveal comes out tomorrow, and we'll find out a lot more about my team specifically in the pre-order notes. Um, we're, we might end up seeing a minor trailer, but it's unlikely. Uh, but at least 2K are in control of the pre-order things, because sometimes, a lot of the time, like, well, other websites leak them, which is obviously how 2K Intel gets all their stuff. Another website will leak something, they'll send it on to 2K Intel, or um, another website will leak something, and then a bunch of people that will watch that... Uh, We'll find it on the website and then send it on to the Intel. But uh, yeah, so basically, these are the covers. You see this cover right here? If they moved Kobe Bryant Edition to here, or even just instead of saying Kobe Bryant Edition, just put like a Kobe Bryant logo, or like a, the Mamba logo, and then moved NBA, took the box off NBA 2K24 and put it up here, this would be a beautiful cover. Like the logo in a like blue box in the middle looks terrible. As the exact same with this one. But if you guys don't know it, this one, this one was funny. So two, this was a picture that was on some people's, uh, 2K posted this one on their French page. But on 2K's actual Twitter, they posted a picture with this, where you can see they literally cop, this is how they made the cover. They copied and pasted this cover. And you see the way it is a little bit different here and they changed the colors and stuff. No, they just lit, they just rearranged this. Um, so that this, they rearranged that so that it wasn't covered. So what I'm guessing is, is that this cover was like a picture and then they put this one over it, which is, I don't mind it. Like I actually kind of like this, uh, I actually kind of like these um, covers to be honest. I really do kind of like these, but one thing is, is that 2K will have crossplay, which is interesting. It says here, community request requested features like crossplay and the game's coming out on September the 8th, which is, when did 2K, same date as last year, basically. I think it was September 9th last year. But that's not a... Uh, that's really not a bad thing. Like, I'll take that. It could have been a uh, 100 times worse. It honestly could have been 100 times worse. But uh, it's not the end of the world having a uh, September the 8th release date. It could be pushed further, which means we at least have three weeks before FIFA comes for European guys to destroy everybody. Um, okay, let's see what else there is. What they mean by crossbite. Like, it's not really unclear. It's not really unclear. Like, I will say, like, we all know what it is. It's going to be PS4 can play a PS5. So, you know, it's not going to be that. Jesus. It's going to be um, PS5 can play Xbox Series S slash X. But there is potential that it's only going to be for my team. I'm playing now and stuff. There is a chance for that. And Rec and Pro-Am. There is a possibility that the city won't have enough, uh, like the servers won't be able to handle the cross by city. Like there is a chance at that. But I don't know. Either way though. Either way, I'll. Uh, it's 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 all it's fine. What we've heard so far is good. Like, crossplay being in the game in any form, it means that it's basically a guarantee in my team. Like, it is effectively a guarantee in my team that crossplay is going to be in the game. There is no question about that. Like, my team is going to have crossplay. So, for guys watching this video and are going to be excited about Park, I don't know. But I will say that crossplay is basically uh it's basically guaranteed as far as the graphics go look i think they've hit their peak like this if this said nba because obviously these are like these are kind of not even really in-game screenshots these are just screenshots of something that can't, can't be possible in the game you can always see it like they always just put sweat on the players which you can't really get in game if you told me this was NBA 2K21 next gen, I wouldn't question. I want to find an NBA 2K21 picture. And this isn't a knock on 2K. Um, but this is just... This is just to basically say, like, they've hit their peak. And again, it's not a... 
it's not a knock on 2k like but this is the same thing i'm just gonna open this one in a new tab open this image new tab now let's get the froby one like it's not a knock they just they've just hit the peak Like, are we really saying that they they don't they couldn't be the same game? And it's three years on, and again, it's not like it's not like years ago where you could actually make a graphical jump leap between one year and another year. So I don't really care to be honest. Um, a lot of people aren't going to be super excited about this, um, these graphics. But I'm going to say the game's going to look the exact same. But the games players can move differently though. The one thing that can change with the jump in generation is that the players can move differently. The problem is, is that a lot of time in 2K gameplay, they, at the expense of the game working, they add in more movements. So as in, they'll add in new animations that might come at the expense of like fluidity in the game. They would rather the game look good in a couple of highlight clips with people playing the game how they want, how they want it to be played, while making a game that's completely broken for anyone who wants to play any other way. Um, and that's just the way things are going right now in 2k um like i'm not i'm not the, i'm not even that low on it like I, I understand what they're doing i don't like what they're doing but i understand what they're doing so that's basically it we got the covers the pre-order bonus is almost certainly going to be a ruby kobe right if you get the mamba edition it's going to be a ruby kobe right just like it was Ruby Michael Jordan, just like it's been a Ruby every year. But what I hope is that like the pre-order cards become useful again. Because if you remember back in the day, I'm, and I mean back in the day, 2K19 had a pre-order Yanis that everyone ran. Everyone ran pre-order KD in 15. 16. I don't even remember what was pre-order in 16. 2K17. If I'm not mistaken, that was a free agent card, so it didn't matter. But like 2K18... Everyone around their Wade, everyone around their Shaq, everyone around their Kyrie. 19, everyone around Giannis. A lot of people around the LeBron. 20, I mean, people ran Wade to start the year. 21. I can't even remember who the pre order card for 21 was. The 22, everyone ran that Kareem pre order card. Like, what I hope is that, like, the pre order cards just become better. Like, 22 was Dirk, KD, and Kareem. People only ran Kareem. And who else was on the... Was there a Luke? There was no Luke pre-order. Wow. But, um... Oh, yeah, because they gave a diamond out straight away. But basically, yeah, I would rather, um... I would like from 2K to just see, like... If we're starting at Pink Diamonds, give us an Amethyst, Kobe. If it's an Amethyst, at minimum, if we're going to start on Pink Diamonds. If not, make it like it was, was in 2K21, where instead of Evoing up to Ruby... Freaking make it Evo to Diamond for all we care, like... Like, if pink diamonds or whatever the, whatever the highest tier is, make it one tier below that. Because you better believe, like, this year, I'm pretty sure there's no diamond Kobe Bryant this year, is there? Oh, sorry, there was. It was in Transcend because it was pink diamond opal, or pink diamond diamond and amethyst. But, like, if you're going to start with pink diamonds like you did last year, 2K, all you have to do is just make him evolve up to a diamond. Because if pink, he's going to be a headliner, which means he's going to have a pink diamond card anyway. So, why does it make him evolve up to a diamond? But anyway, yeah, that's the video. That's 2K24. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.